a little bit about here is, is cleaning your optics out in the field. It's something that uh, you know everybody's going to have to do sooner or later. Particularly out here in the west, you run into lots of dusty conditions. Uh, it's a guarantee the lenses on your binos and your spot and scopes and your rifle scopes, you're going to get dust and dirt on them out in the field. The key is, is to go about cleaning them the right way. What you want to, you know, always keep in the back of your head on these lenses is, is a big part of what improves the brightness and helps you out looking through them are these coatings on these lenses. Now these coatings are relatively soft and they're easily scratched so you kind of want to keep that in the back of your head when you're cleaning. Generally it's wise to clean no more than you have to. Don't don't get carried away, you know, keep keep them as clean as you need to but but don't go overboard on it either because no matter how careful you are when you're doing this you're at least microscopically going to scratch those lenses every time. So over over years of use, if if you do this the wrong way, you tend to scratch up those lenses. It, it, it cuts down on your light transmission and you lose performance in your optic. So some of the techniques we'll use here, I'll, I'll run over for you. Um, this bino here is in pretty good shape, but it does have a little bit of dust on the lenses. Um, what I like to use a lot in the field are these devices called the lens pens. Uh, very common. You can get them everywhere. We at Vortex sell them. Um, they have a little brush on one end that pops in and out, retractable. The other end is uh, it's a soft cleaning type tip on it. There is some sort of a, a compound in here that will help clean a little bit with these. The key with these lens pens is do be sure when you're carrying them around that uh, this cap stays put on there. You want this tip to stay clean. If you find out you've, you've, you've dropped it in the dust and there's dirt on here, you want to be real careful about that. Generally at that point I would replace it, uh, go with another one because you don't want to get dust on there. So keep these things capped. Um, when I start out in the field with a, with a bino like this, it's a little bit dusty. What I'll generally do first of all is I'll try to blow off everything I can with my breath. Uh, easiest way, you know, nothing's touching the lens. Anything can get off that way is going to help you out. So I'll just give them a good breath. You notice I kind of tip it downhill a little bit when I do that too, and that it'll help make that stuff come and dr and fall off of there when you do it. And same way on those eyepieces, I'll do that. I'll <laughs> the next thing I'll do is is take this little brush and I'll and I'll hold these glasses upside down like this, and I'll just real gently I'll go around and see what I can just take off of there. Again, holding that that optic upside down so that stuff is falling off as you're loosening it, and just kind of go across. Not much pressure at all, just real light and gentle. Take off what you can. Same thing on your eyepieces here. Brush off what you can by doing that. If I've got material on here, generally it might be smudges from your eyelashes or if you touched it with a fingertip or something. If there's, if there's stuff on there that I need to get off yet, that's the time for this soft tip. Again, key very gentle here. I usually try to fog these with my breath before I do it. Just gets a little bit of moisture on there. Helps just give it a little bit of extra edge in preventing scratches. So if I had a smudge here, I would just give it a light coat of breath and just real lightly go around in just a, a gentle circular pattern on these, just no more than I have to. Just take that little bit of smudge off of there. Um, same thing over here on this one little bit of a breath and just real gently take it off. You don't need to go over the whole lens with this, just hit the spots where you got that smudge or smear. Now generally that's that's going to cover a lot of the situations you'll have out in the field. Uh, if you get out and you're in, in moisture and you've got rain and you get some of those dried water spots, uh, Sam over here has got one of the lens cleaning kits that are out there. Now, these types of kits you'll have uh, cloths designed for the purpose. They'll have some fluid in there. Um, those will work too, and sometimes if you have tougher spots that, that are a little more resistant to coming off, a little bit of a lens cleaning fluid will help you out. I think that one you've got there, Sam, does that have some of the fog-free type? Yeah, this is a, a fog-free lens cleaning system, which is kind of nice because um, when you use this on the, the lenses to clean them, it actually will um, put an anti-fog coating on the lenses, which is nice. We talked earlier about how in cold conditions, um, when you're 
uh, putting those binoculars up to your eyes, the heat from your face will oftentimes fog those lenses up. So if you clean them with this stuff, it actually puts an anti-fog coating on the lenses in addition to cleaning them. So that just helps reduce the, uh, the chance that you're going to have those lenses fog up. Um, and for those tougher um, to get spots, um, having an actual fluid to use on the lenses themselves just helps loosen those up and, and removes those spots um, on the on the lens. Another thing that's um, real common is, uh, you know, a lot of times guys will will get eyelash oils or water spots on their um, binoculars, and um, and oftentimes people don't know what those are what they look like and they and they think that there's something wrong with their binoculars and they might even send them in um, so it's just um, you know if you've got some spots on the lenses and you're not sure what they are um, it's a good idea to maybe pick up one of these cleaning kits and try using this on it first to see if you can remove those um, before you go ahead and send them in because um, you think something's wrong with them the key is is try to get away from using your you know your t-shirts and your shirt tails if you can do it now you know every now and then there's always an emergency you may have to but those are materials that they're not designed to work with coated lenses as soft as they may seem to you they they do contain abrasives and and they are going to be harder on your lenses than these sorts of products so you know you use common sense um, don't clean them any more than you really have to and uh, should should get your body just fine